Okay, this is my Philips Norelco S9000 Prestige electric razor I just bought. I'm just going to unbox it for you real quick. Looks like it comes with a pretty cool travel case. It's got the manual down in the bottom here to show you how to use it. So, it did cost 200, upwards of $200, almost 300 so I expect it to have some kind of perks. It is a really nice case to keep it in if you travel. And voila, there it is. It's already ready for traveling. It's got all the cables and stuff in where they're supposed to go after you unpackage them. So I'll go ahead and go through all this and give it a live test. Okay, I got everything open. And so I set it up in my bathroom. It's actually got a USB cable that plugs into the, the plug in. You can plug it into the wall. And then it actually comes with a wireless charger. So you actually lay it like this. And the ring on the charger lights up and it says 10. Uh, I believe it says 100 when it's fully charged. So I'm going to let it charge and come back later. It is pretty nifty, I guess, but you would have to keep it somewhere in your bathroom where it's not going to get wet if you charge it in there. So that could be one drawback, but uh, we'll see how it performs in a bit. Just to get another screenshot of this awesome razor, I know it's a 62, so I'm going to go ahead and try to shave with it and give you guys a review, but it does just pick up right off the charging pad, and you just lay it back down, and it shows you 62 out of 100 is what it's charged at right now, which is pretty fancy, but I'm more of a razor handle, straight razor guy myself. Okay, so here we go with the live review. It is actually a wet and dry shaver, so... What I'm going to do is shave half my face dry and the other half wet. You just turn the power button and it actually has adjustable speeds. This is low, medium, and then high. I'm going to go ahead and start on high because I have a pretty rough beard when it grows out a little bit. I did let it grow out a little bit just for this video, so here we go. You are supposed to shave in a circular motion with these type of razors. So far so good, I haven't, haven't really felt it pulling or anything at all, which you know, would expect from a high-priced razor. I've never used a razor this expensive, but we'll see. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and shut it down there and try to get you a close-up. It did leave kind of a... I don't think you're ever going to get as close of a shave with the, an electric razor as with the straight razor, but uh, just got some stubborn scruff on the bottom of my chin here that doesn't really want to shave. So, um, it's definitely the best electric razor I've used so far as far as the dry shave, so we'll go on to the uh, wet shave. Okay, I did use some Gillette Series 3 times Action Shaving Gel because I am a huge fan of Gillette shaving products. I've had the same Gillette Fusion Pro Glide Power Blade for years. It's a five blade razor that runs off uh, batteries. I'll put a link to purchase that in the description below the video when I'm done. Anyways, you can turn this all I did was pick it up actually and it shows that it's still got 59 out of 100 on, on charge and with the wet shave with an electric razor you can use save, uh, shaving cream which I did for the purpose of the video I usually just use regular bath soap which I know isn't normal so anyways here we go you just rinse it off just like a normal straight razor Okay, well that's as good as it's going to get. You can tell it's kind of uh, a little bit patchy still, but uh, you're just not going to get as close of a shave as you do with the razor handle, straight razor. Um, I still can't, haven't found anything that be beats my Gillette Fusion Pro Glide 5 blade power razor, so I just need to get a new one. I've had the same one for years, but uh, let me see if I can uh, see how you clean this one out real quick. 
yeah this thing just pops up and looks like the hair actually rinsed out when I was rinsing it so if not you just pop this up dump the hair in the trash if you're dry shaving but uh, I'll jump on the computer and give you some prices here real quick okay I jumped online and gave you some prices here real quick I apologize for any background noise but we do live a normal life here we do have a one-year-old daughter and Tom Brady's playing the uh, Packers on TV anyways I got these in order by price I believe you can get it at Walmart for the cheapest two twenty nine ninety. dollars it says it's out of stock but you can get an in-stock alert the next one up is actually at bestbuy.com which surprised me at three twenty nine ninety nine. dollars if you're strapped for cash you can apply for credit at any of these places I actually got mine through Best Buy on credit Target actually surprised me there's this all the way up at three forty nine ninety nine and I had trouble finding it on Amazon but the only one I can find is this one that matches up with the exact model and the wireless charger and all that at five hundred and twenty nine dollars it's definitely worth this price at Walmart and even at Best Buy if I was gonna get an electric shaver I would definitely use this one it's the best one I've used so far the uh, wet shave actually Give me a very close shave, especially for an electric shaver, so good luck.